Thailand or the Philippines? Which one is better for girls? This subject comes up a lot on my YouTube channel's comment section. So I'm gonna weigh in with my opinions from my experiences with working girls in these two countries. Now, before we get started, my videos often get taken way out of context. So it's important to note that we are talking about working girls and not your next Tinder date. Got it? Let's get started. The experience in these two countries are very similar, but yet vastly different from each other. There isn't gonna be an overall winner. There are pros and cons to each, and it's gonna depend on each individual's preference. Firstly, let's get to quality. I have a far better quality of life experience here in Thailand, meaning that I find everyday living at a higher standard than that in the Philippines. The food here in Thailand is far better, and the average hotel experience and daily living is superior here in Thailand. The food is probably the most important to me. I find that the flavors, freshness, and the variety of foods to be far better here in Thailand than in the Philippines. I found that the Philippines was just riddled with junk food and fast food joints, and I struggled to find a good quality, healthy food at first. Hotel stays and room rentals are also like chalk and cheese. I get far superior accommodation and options in Thailand with better bang for my buck. Now speaking about bucks, a huge thanks to my amazing young bucks over on my subscription page. If you like this content, want more videos, more truth bombs and all the bonus content, then head to my subscription page. I've pinned the link in the comment section below. Click on that and join our tribe. We have ridiculous videos dropping like bombshells and a treasure trove of unreleased content. And guess what? You'll also gain access to a private Discord channel, which is helping fellow travelers navigate safely through the red light districts of the world. Transportation. Thailand comes out tops here. It's easier to get around when you have so many dialed in public transport options like in Thailand. Their systems feel far superior to the Philippines who have the metered cab, grab, trikes, chimneys. I felt running less efficiently. Let's not forget about the flights. It seems that every flight I take in Philippines is somehow fucking late. And now let's get to the juicy bits and talk about the girls. I find that I enjoy the company of Filipinas more than Thai women. Firstly, I feel like I can have some proper conversation with many Filipinas because of their superior comprehension of the English language that the Thai girls lack. Conversations with Thai girls feel quite hollow and much of my humor goes way over their heads. However, with Filipinas, I feel I have a better chance of the girls catching my drift. Now, on the other hand, Filipinas aren't very touchy-feely, so don't count on getting very intimate in public. Even the holding hands in public seems like a big deal to them. Look, now I grew up in the Western culture, so I'm pretty used to public affection and the carefree nature of the Western woman. Anyways, what I'm getting at is don't count on being risque and making out in public for kicks and thrills with your Filipina. Thai girls, on the other hand, I felt are far more risque than Filipinas and show affection better in public. That takes me back to some really wild times. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder and I'm not gonna get into which of these nations has the most visually attractive women. So let's get on to the next subject. Bars, clubs and massage parlors. I'm gonna give that one to Thailand. If you go to a place like Angeles City, you'll see that two thirds of the clubs copy what you'll find in Bangkok and Pattaya. It's obvious that they are trying to recreate the magical environment of Thailand, but truly they stand no match to the original clubs found in the great Thai cities. If I was looking for a place to party with that loud, in your face, girl drag you into the club kind of thing, I'd hit Thailand over Philippines any day of the week. But if you're looking for the imitation version, Philippines ain't too bad. Don't get me wrong, the Philippines is great, but it's just not in the same league as the original. Pricing. Well, ladies and gents, that's going to depend on the areas you're gonna visit. And they're all pretty much similar with pricing. Besides the ridiculous costs in Manila, they're just fucking crazy there. Drinks, however, I found were slightly cheaper in the Philippines, but not by much. So let's move on to safety. Thailand takes this one with flying colors. Anyone that's been to Thailand can vouch for how safe it actually is. Every now and again, you would encounter one of those scam bars, but that's why we have our private Discord channel to shed light on these bars. So join in the link that I've provided in the comment section below. The Philippines to me kind of felt like I was back in South Africa. Everyone kind of warns you about the place and I find myself on high alert all the time. Allegedly there's a lot of crime in the country and you can see that apparent while walking around Manila. All the security guards are wielding shotguns 
everywhere. Now you'd think that that would deter the criminals, but I believe they don't give a shit because I was constantly being warned by locals about the crime there. Then I entered Angeles City, where the place looks like a fucking dicey garbage dump. I couldn't help but think that eyes were always on me with pickpockets all over the show. Now we get into the very interesting part. Options and choices. I felt that Thailand is way more jacked up for adult tourism than Philippines is. In Thailand you have loads of variety like go-go bars, girly beach bars, massage parlors, soapy massages, freelancers on the streets, freelancers and hookup cafes, loads of blowjob bars and the list just goes on and on and on. Although you won't be strapped for options in Philippines but it's not nearly as jacked as Thailand. And let's not talk about the quantity. Just take Pattaya for example. The promenade there is evidence to the quantity of girls that's available for travelers. I'm talking about a line that's kilometers long of girls. Now these are just my opinions but I would love to hear your opinion so leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there my amigos and I will see you on the next episode.